Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> I was going to ask, should we do room tone? Should <laughs> Well, I, hello, hello, and welcome to episode something or 56. other. <laughs> Actually, we should do room tone for real, so <laughs> we'll be right back. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh, come on, you know I don't watch that shit. Why not? Too scared? No, no, it's just, what's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big-breasted girl who can't act who's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> hey, hello. Hi. What's up? Hi. Hello. Hi. Here's hello. A, um, Cheers. Cheers. Hi. Cheers. Stink. Seriously, um, Kim. Ke- oh, yes? we. I was about to go on a rant about what? my champagne flutes but let's perhaps say who we are first i'm kim i'm ketrin hello and we hello are a podcast that talks about horror movies and tries to make it fun me <laughs> <laughs> oh Aww. we'll see ourselves up yep no we, and we're gonna spoil it we're, we're gonna spoil it and we're gonna try to stay alive in them for you and with you yep and it's gonna be funny hopefully and um the, the beginning of this is no indication of how funny it will be no <laughs> well maybe it is I uh, oh, fuck. There was something I was literally about to talk about. Shit. And I was like, oh, I'll save it until we push play. Would you or like me to go on my rant about my champagne flutes while you think of what it is you were going to say? If you think that'll be interesting, it won't be. I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> I had two things to talk about. One I recall. Oh, go, 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 so go ahead. Like a- all day she's having a great day day drunk <laughs> day drunk catching the best podcast I, it is uh, well, i was just saying that I'm, I'm back from philly now philly i went home to see my fam and my little nieces turned four those little babies are little so twinsies cute. but i was surrounded by children since the second i got out of my car and then Oof. B- till I left. Right. So I went to see my best friends that I grew up with first, Steph Dawson, who I've talked about yeah. many times. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's what she brought up. She what? was like cheerleading. Oh. She's like, you were a cheerleader. <laughs> and she's like, I thought about that story. And she's like, how did we do that? How did we just leave school every day? How and no one did you to do care? that? Yeah. She's like, why did no one ever know that? <laughs> like our parents or anyone. Yeah. Like, I was like, so funny. And then uh, uh, Dana who are like my two like childhood best friends. So they have well, all the babies, five kids between them, but <gasps> four of them were there and they ra- age range from six months to 10. <gasps> so the age it's of lot, children. It's a lot. Five I to mean, ten. it was nice because, yeah, <laughs> like five to 10. <laughs> but like, you know, the six month old could just sit and sleep. They're just a loaf of bread. The 10 month old, the 10 month, <laughs> 10 year old, <laughs> <laughs> the 10 year old, only on her phone so she's oh, got that going so on we're like we've 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 shaved two off the front and the back right now we only have to deal with the three in the middle and then the two in the middle are like three and four okay. and so they were really excited to have someone their age to play with so they just played with each other so okay. it actually like worked out great but it was like i kind of had a weird moment at one point where i was like you know the uh what's the mandela effect is that it when you oh, the, that there's different timelines? There, yeah, like the Berenstein Bears is Which spelled Which I can't wrong. get over it. And no, it's wrong. The Berenstein Bears. I, why I do any that? of us say Berenstein Bears? No, we don't. If it's it wrong. If it was not spelled, if it was spelled it, stain. It, 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 because it wasn't. Because that was an alternate universe that, that we were not it a part of. It doesn't make any sense. Also, the girls had a really old Berenstein Bears book that they had me read. And yeah. it was spelled Berenstein. You're Still. kidding. And, but it was it was literally like it was like someone's mom's book like it was like this it was old as fuck blowing my mind like because i was like oh maybe this one we spelled it right but i guess just like in our universe it's always been yeah, spelled yeah the it, current universe we're in does anyone know what this is it's called the, Manda- okay, the, yeah, mandela, the mandela effect, effect. <laughs> so basically it's named after nelson mandela right because there are people that no not think like or remember believe him. they remember him dying in prison right they know that he died in prison. And there's a couple other things like that. And one of them is that the Berenstein <laughs> Bears. Bears is the last syllable of the word is spelled stain. stain which S-T-A-I-N. Just isn't. Which there's no world where I was no. ever saying Berenstein. No. If it was spelled that way. Clearly. It makes no sense. No. I would and have never done that. I was a really good speller. I was too. And, and 
into school things grandma so and reading so grandma had you know i i hung out at my grandma's house a, a lot you know that when i was growing up right. and she had some other children's books but the main children's books that she had was a stack of 40 or 50 berenstein bear books right so she read them to me every exactly. single day and it was not spelled stain berenstein it was not and if it was we would have said it berenstein not clearly or we would have at least had like a disconnect in our head where we would have gone it's pronounced steam but i'm like, reading why? Stain. yeah like why yes. is it spelled that way yeah makes no sense it's insane so anyway i was there and i was like oh i feel like in some alternate universe because it was like weird kind of that was kind of maybe the first time where the three of us were hanging out with like all the kids yeah because we've hung out with like some of the kids or maybe one of them and their kids or the three of us together but like out somewhere you know it was like the first time in a long time where it was like the three of us and their kids Mm -hmm. and i was like in some alternate universe i am here with my kids yeah like in some alternate universe i never moved and we're just like yeah. all still hanging out and like have all have like a bunch of babies yeah i think about that sometimes that there's like an alternate universe where like Tallulah and hatter are like u- human children oh that's cute yeah yeah so You'd that was like an interesting moment just so you know if you ever you. like i'm ready to be a mom i'd be like i fully support this you'll be good at it let's do this i together. mean what i learned the weekend in philly was that i'm not ready to be a no. mom <laughs> no it's cr- i mean I I have a theory, which I've I've talked to you about a little bit. I don't think anyone was ever ready to be a mom. Yeah. I think that being a mom is like what they say childbirth is like. Yeah. Where if you remembered Yeah, if you remembered how painful childbirth was, you'd never have another you would never have a second child. And I feel like if you actually let yourself think about what your life will be when you have children, no yeah. one would have children. It's just like nature and like um, evolution's way of, of making sure that people exactly. go and keeping yeah. the species alive. Yeah. And is, now that um, we're overpopulated, they're like, why don't y'all think about that for a second? <laughs> Let me show you what this um, is. Yeah, but that was like a, I don't know, interesting moment I to love have. that. I was like, How there's some Steph? alternate Kim. Good. That's She's good. a mom of two now and one six months old. So, and That's... one is three. So so there's she's never she's no never slept sleep. and doesn't remember sleep that's correct sleep is a foreign concept to her yes doesn't believe that it actually exists that's <laughs> an, that's the, the mandela effect for her is that once upon a time she's in an like, alternate in universe, universe, universe there was sleep. i had sleep <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's yeah i really like sleep yeah so much i don't think you get it with kids yeah i don't know if i want <laughs> to not sleep <laughs> and now it's gonna bother me that i can't remember the other thing i wanted to talk about it just ha- it just it was just here well then i'll talk about my champagne flutes somebody gave me champagne flutes for my wedding and i have to listen I and they eric and i registered for our honeymoon because we had already lived together for so long so we had lots of stuff but people still gave us stuff anyway which i'm very appreciative of but if you know me at all tiffany's champagne flutes is not me (laughs) i will break them i'd be fine with the ikea version and i don't require brand names yet here i am holding a tiffany champagne flute just terrified of breaking it and not (laughs) enjoying the champagne within it rant ended did you remember your thing no because i was kind of half listening to you Uh, even though i knew what you were saying and (laughs) i felt pressured because i feel like that's what i'm supposed to be doing even though you weren't really talking to me you're just talking to people well you, sh- you snooze, you luge, Burns. Damn it. Tell you what, if you remember it, like in the middle of telling your story, just say it. Okay. Yeah. I started this new to-do list thing. Okay. Did you see my post about it? No, I, I didn't. I started it this and week. And I stalk you. How did I not see it? You didn't see my Instagram story? I did. I stalk you constantly. How did I not um, see it? What is it? I heard it on a podcast and I was like, I'm into that idea. So basically like Monday morning, you pretty much like write down every single thing you need to do mm-hmm. like for the rest of time that you yeah. can think of right now and just get it out of your brain oh i i did see this yeah yeah and then you a cross out the things that you don't want to do oh. like she's like you don't have to do anything she's like you don't have to take care of your kids <laughs> you don't have to fucking eat you don't have to do anything yeah, you could just 
cease to exist. Yeah, no one is making you do any of these things like you want to do. Right. All of these them. things. Yeah. So cross out the things you don't really want to do. And then like if something has like blocks or whatever, like obstacles to like do them, like kind of make a smaller to-do list to like whatever you need to do to like get, get those yeah. first, you know, and then kind of like be, and then schedule every single thing out. Oh, wow. So I didn't actually have like enough space to put all of the things into a schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that's what it was because I started recondoing my life. <gasps> Oh my god. You'd be god. so proud of me, Ketrin. I can't wait to see. I donated eight no, nine trash bags full of clothes. Wow. Nine. I mean, I'm a little pissed that you didn't let me go through them first, <laughs> but it's fine. But I needed to get you them needed out to of get my them fucking out. space. I get it. I totally it get it. It was a lot. Yeah. Cuz then I also had 500 hangers just laying on my floor. Yeah. And I was like over fucking whelmed. I was like, get all of this shit out of my face. Yeah. Because then I had to like refold everything in the Marie Kondo way, which was actually kind of cool. It's great. I have so much more space in my drawers now. Yeah. It's great. I didn't do it for like some of like the socks and underwear and things because I was just like, yeah. ah, all of the stuff is still on my floor and I need to just throw it in. A, I, like, I need it to be away right now. Yeah. But so now I still need to do like that was just the start. So I still need to do like shoes and purses. <gasps> I'm so proud and of you. And then, fucking bullshit which we know i have a lot of you have a lot of bullshit (laughs) lots of bullshit um i feel like that's where i serve you best is in your bullshit i know i still want you to come help me with those boxes from my mom well you also have to remember like i'm about to have lots of time so we can totally do this i'm super into and you know i love it i almost bobby mentioned that too like he was just i talked about the boxes and she's and he's like well doesn't ketrin love helping you with that kind of thing and i was like yes (laughs) that's so funny my brother i almost murdered eric by the way in the same context he started in a new job where like he's having to like organize shit that hasn't been organized in ages right and he was like i love doing this and i was like what, what? the fuck do you mean you love doing this and i was like why, why are you, are you doing, doing it, our doing home? it at our home? <laughs> and he was like it's not the same i was like i am murdering i'm you like tonight. it is <laughs> but yeah i'm like craving it yeah like i'm like craving having things like cleaned out it's like who i'm becoming i is love like, it that wants makes me really to clear happy. the and shit isn't out it fucking satisfying mm-hmm. like it feels so good it was really good that's one thing Eric said. He was like, I like labels. None of the shit in here has labels. I was like, oh, I'll get a label. Maker. I'll fucking <laughs> label Catherine's every like, goddamn out. sock you have. <laughs> sock. Left. Orange. <laughs> Please start labeling everything. That uh, oh, would be shit. so great. <laughs> so anyway, things it. like that I didn't really have like, it's like that really long to-do list where yeah. it's just like, but the great thing is like once it's out of your brain it's on this like paper and then so i got to schedule in a lot of the things that were more important because that's kind of can like be done when i have like oh i have this block of time like i'll schedule that in then yeah um but i just didn't have it this week but yeah soup's helpful that actually makes me feel really good because same with marie kondo like i didn't fold my stuff the way she did but the way that she gets rid of stuff it was actually really validating because i was like oh i do this but nobody T- told yeah. me to do it this way. I just do it yeah. this way. Just did it and then the to-do list as well. I've always been like, I have to get it out of my brain. Yeah. So I put it on paper. So it just makes me feel a little less crazy when my no, methods are. Because <laughs> oh, because I'm insane. Don't don't get it twisted, <laughs> Sammy. It's just I'm less crazy. Straight up insane. But there are just certain aspects where yeah but this was like it's because i've always like written down my to-do list too but it was just like it feels like a never-ending to-do list mm-hmm. and this is now like oh i just have a schedule right yeah instead of like i don't know and then whenever i have something in my brain that's what just happened it was like if i'm like oh let me remember this one thought 30 it's seconds gone. later yeah. it was gone and i was like what the fuck did i just want to do <laughs> i just thought about it <laughs> god damn it oh so anyway i don't know that's the history of my life right now <laughs> that's very exciting i love it i guess i don't really have anything i'm really do we have any reviews we do it's exciting oh my god Tallulah's gonna hate this Tallulah just got comfortable fell asleep and now we're gonna make strange noises and she's gonna hate it sorry bitch <laughs> who we got first we have m rosolio 
M. Or Rizzolio. Mr. Ozolio. <laughs> uh, Hard to tell. <laughs> I just realized that. Mr. I think we should sing Mr. Ozolio. Ozolio. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. <laughs> His is funny because it's um, the coward's cliff note. So basically he's saying that he's like a coward and <laughs> can't watch horror movies, which is why he loves our podcast. That's actually a huge demographic for us. I love it. It's people that don't like watching horror movies because they're too scared. <laughs> and then they just listen to us. That's great. All right. What do you got from Mr. Ozolio? Okay. Give me a beat. <laughs> this feels Italian to me. <laughs> Mr. Ozolio, Mr. Ozolio, spaghetti and rigatoni, and Mr. Ozolio. That was the, sh- the bravo, sh- bravo, bravissimo, oh, bon appetit. Was- I there we go. Que cazzo. <laughs> what does that one mean? You always say What that. the fuck? Que cazzo. What's cazzo. that other one that you say? Oh, you say cazzo all the time, cazzo, which is cazzo. just fuck. Yeah. Right? It technically means penis, and they say it for fuck a lot. Penis. And then so, I'm just gonna and start, que cazzo means what the fuck. I'm just going to start exclaiming penis in English when I'm cursing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Who else we got? Uh, dad out Adam, who is the podcast Odd, Odd Dad, dad out. out. Uh, okay, and and we love part? him. And he's let's, super supportive and really great. So uh, let's see let's what, what see. I got in my brain. This sounds robotic to me. You ready? I'm going to give you this. Okay. Beep, boop, beep, boop, <laughs> beep, 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 boop. That's boop, boop, beep, beep, Willy Wonka. Beep, beep. <laughs> it's just Willy Wonka. <laughs> Go with it. Beep, uh, boop, dad, beep, uh, is boop, 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 beep. His boop, name's boop, Adam boop, beep, and we boop, love boop, him. <laughs> <laughs> I I felt it going down the Willy Wonka path. And by that point, there was no return. I was like, it just was Willy Wonka. It yeah. wasn't even. It was just, just inspired by. There was just by. no return. It was just. It was, well, I hope you don't get sued. We appreciate <laughs> Hate you guys. Cheers to Mr. Ozolio and, and Odd, Odd Dad, Dad out. out. Adam. We love you guys. We and super appreciate guys. the reviews. They really, really help us and mean a lot. Yes. Did you remember how to watch horror movies? So I kind of did. I struggled as well. I was like, <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing right now? I know. Like, I literally forgot to write down the dead or alive, and I had like a whole thing. <laughs> I know. And I was like, okay, I didn't write my answers either. So, okay, you get a total <laughs> of 27 points. Okay. Oh, should I tell you what we're watching? Yeah. It's called REC. REC? Record. Oh, record. Okay. It's from 2007. Very exciting. It is a Spanish film. Wow. Which I didn't know. Subtitled movies two weeks in a row. Except this was dubbed. Oh, snap. <laughs> so, oh, snap. So was it great? 30 seconds in, I was like, is my sound, is the sound? You know how sometimes it's <laughs> yes. like a little- Out of sync. Out of sync. And I was like, is this, you were what's like, going on? Because I just lag? put it from like my computer to the TV and I was like, what the, is that sound up? And then I paused and kind of went like, and I was like, what's going on? Because then also I have my closed captioning on because I watch everything in closed captioning too. Oh. And the dubbing doesn't actually completely match the closed captioning. You're kidding. No, they use just like different words. You're kidding. Yeah. Like th- kind of same meaning words, mm-hmm. but different. Do you remember any, like when you go through, will you remember any where you were like, that's weird. You don't have to if you don't. Like I'm just one curious. was like, oh, the, in dubbing they said, he's like the head of the resident community or something and then like on the thing it said like intern or something like that weird and then because that's such different meaning yeah those ones are very different but i'm trying to think of one that was like more similar but a lot of times yeah it was like could be like a synonym kind of you know like it it was very fucking weird yeah how fun so now i'm watching faces (laughs) speak in spanish dubbed with english English. on top and then reading subtitles english of of different words wow (laughs) that was maybe the worst choice for you to do while jet lagged (laughs) it was a lot it was was a lot no i watched it when i i watched it like two days ago so i philly really helped my jet lag. Yeah. Kim really was a helped my Bali jet lag. Zombie person. It was rough. Yeah. Coming back from that time zone from Bali, it was just day as night and night as day. What's it what's interesting is it was so bad that I could 
hear it in your text messaging <laughs> like I was like that's so weird yeah, yeah. like as soon as you were like, like exhausted messaging it was it was I was like because it's just little things of like I know so well like how yeah. you text right that I was just like what's is she mad at me like what's going on and then you were like, like very short and direct brain is fog. Yeah. and I was like oh okay <laughs> yeah it really was like I was just like fog brain yeah but yeah going ahead for three hours in Philly being woken up by children in the morning and then You're like and I'm up coming back I'm like whoo waking up at a decent hour now let's do this back on track all right so wreck so are dead or alive okay Angela Vidal alive Vidal. alive Pablo the camera guy. Mm. Dead. Fireman Alex. Dead. Fireman Manu. Dead. First cop. First cop? Mm -hmm. Dead. Second cop. Alive. Mom. Alive. Daughter. Alive. British stash. <laughs> British stash? As in mustache. A mustache. <laughs> Dr. Glasses. Dr. Glasses. Dead. Hazmat guy. Alive. Okay. <clears throat> British stash. <laughs> Brit, Brit, Brit stash. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we open on a reporter. Okay. And she's saying, my name is Angela Vidal. And I'm just writing, Spanish? Dubbed? <laughs> What is this? What's going on? <laughs> the entire first three minutes of the movie, I don't know what's happening because I'm just trying to figure out <laughs> who's talking, what's going on. Is it in your brain? <laughs> <laughs> so she's standing there reporting, like on camera, kind of like out in the field reporting, mm -hmm. you know, and then she like messes up and starts over a couple times. She's like, wait, can we go back and do it again? Okay. Da, da, da. So she's at a fire station and they're basically for the show, like something about while you sleep or whatever that was one of the things it was like the name of their show was different oh. in words versus like versus the it, Spanish. closed caption yeah, okay got it weird the dubbing and the closed caption where it was like while you sleep or like during your sleep i don't know it's like, so weird yeah. so it seems like maybe they're like an overnight show or something yeah. you know and they're going to be following around two firemen for okay. the night so now it's Angela and she's interviewing the guy in charge. They're at the fire station and he's showing her around and she's like trying on the uniforms. And it's like, it's only like one of those, like, you know, those shows that like sometimes at 3 a.m. if you're up there on, yeah. they're like, oh, she's like putting on the boots and, da, 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 and it's yeah. like very kind of cheesy. But she's always like kind of talking with the camera guy and his name's Pablo and kind of being like, wait, can I start over? Da, 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 you know what I mean? So everything that we're seeing for the entire movie is through Pablo's camera. For the, for the whole movie? For the whole movie. Okay. All right. I'm All right. I, okay. I needed to adjust some expectations real quick and now I'm with you. Got it. Oh, what were your expectations? <laughs> I just feel like it changes how I was going to like see the movie visually in my head. Right. Like yeah. I, you know. So, <laughs> Kim just took a sip of her fourth beverage. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so we're seeing through his camera the entire time. So sometimes she's talking to him because they are working together, right. basically, you know. So now they go into the dining hall and like all the firemen are in there. And the guy in charge is like introducing him or introducing her to the guys and stuff like that. And then we cut to another part where she's miking up two guys and it's Alex and Manu and doing a little interview with them. And they're kind of saying that 70% of calls are not for fire. That's usually like some other things. Mm. And she's kind of like, well, I hope the siren goes off tonight. Like not for anything terrible, obviously, but it would be cool for us to see because we're going to ride along with you. Right. And they're like, yep, now we just wait and see. And then there's like some behind the scenes stuff, you know. And uh, so now we're in a hallway. Angela and Pablo are like, what else should we do? And they kind of go through another door and there's like the call desk and she's like, women. There's like two women there. And she's like, women in the fire station. Hello, can we talk to you? And then now it's like kind of later at night and they're doing like just more shots around the building. And she's like, it's quiet. She's like, behind this door is where the guys are sleeping until an alarm goes off. And, uh, and then later she's like playing basketball with the guys. 
and this seems like a pretty huge fire station yeah they're in spain i don't know if i guess i've never been like no i think they have like pretty substantial living spaces at a fire station because they're on call for like such weird times yeah but this just seemed huge they had a full basketball court yeah i mean they did a queer eye in a where they fixed up a fire station it was it was pretty big maybe not maybe not basketball court big but it was like big interesting and with it's just when i see like the size of a building of most fire stations at least around here it doesn't look that big look i'm like you can't fit much in there no let's take a tour of a fire station yeah does anyone want to take us let's do it any single cute fireman hey (laughs) i'll slide down your (laughs) pole i'll live vicariously through (laughs) it (laughs) so then an alarm rings and all the guys get up and like go down the pole and Angela and Pablo like run around to the truck and they all get in and so now they're filming from inside the truck and so for the night they're going to be following Alex and Manu and they're like why is there no siren on like and the guys are like well this isn't urgent so we Hmm. don't really need to put the um the siren on they're like I don't really know why people call the fire department other than I think um Fire, I think fire uh, men have to go to every single 911 call. Oh, obviously. Call. Yeah. So they're not getting a call from a person. They're getting a call from a dispatcher. Yes. Basically. <laughs> yes. Right. It's not me calling up a fire station <laughs> being like, fire. <laughs> you don't call 911 and then push one for fire station, <laughs> two for police station, three I need a for fire ambulance. Man. No, no, no. No ambulance. No four, cops. Four prostitutes. Just a fireman. What? <laughs> Why are you calling emergency prostitutes? Right now. I, you got it. You need what you need. Yeah, I guess an the emergency question is, why are we calling emergency <laughs> prostitutes? Okay, so. So, yeah. Not so urgent. they're like, you know, they explain some of the reasons, too, where it was just like, sometimes we're getting animals out of trees. Mm. I know it's a joke, but sometimes true. So they park at the place and there's a police car outside. So Angela is like, maybe it's more urgent than we thought. <laughs> um, so our two guys bring in like some tools and stuff. They go in and it's an apartment building. And okay. so it's the lobby of an apartment building that has like a stairwell that goes like up to like four or five floors. And it's okay. like one of those circle um, stairwells. Spiral staircase. No, it's an apartment building. So it's not like a spiral staircase for <laughs> five floors. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? It's just like, but it's, it's a. It goes in a circle. It's a spiral. But isn't a spiral staircase only like the one little circle? I don't think so. Is it? Would you call an apartment building that has like five flights of stairs a spiral staircase? If it's in a sp- spiralic shape, but it goes like up like fifteen steps and then up to the left fifteen steps, up left oh, fifteen steps, up left. Okay, so it's so not it's actually like, circular. I got it. I got no. it. I got it. Moving on. Let's move <laughs> on. Spiral staircase, I think is, I don't know. I'm sure someone will tell us, but um, <laughs> I thought it's just like focusing on the one, right Basically things. a fire pole in the middle and then just you going around for five flights. <laughs> it fucking might be. What the fuck do I know? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, all the, a bunch of like tenants are at the bottom and they're all like ah this is what's going on they like they're and some they're like okay who called who called there's like so two cops are inside like one's already upstairs and there's one cop downstairs and so they're kind of trying to talk to the people because they're all like wah and they're just like who called you know and some ladies like it was me like i heard a woman screaming Mm -hmm. on like the third or fourth floor and the cop is like, yeah, we think it's an old lady who lives there. Maybe she fell or something, like heard them screaming, like, let's go up and look and make yeah. sure she's okay. It's basically it. But like most of the people in the building are like down in this lobby. Okay. So the cop and the two firemen and our two people, Angela and Pablo, all start going up the stairs and the cop like tells the people to stay down in the lobby. So they get to the door and the uh, they break in. They walk in and then they see it's just a long hallway and then there's a lady down the very end. Okay. And they're like, her name's Conchita. And then they're kind of starting to walk down the hall and then you like hear like a crash and it's like they bumped into something. And again, like at this point, we're seeing everything through the camera and the oh, camera's right, like right, the right. last in line. So yes. we're kind of just like following three to four people like down this hallway. Got it. And like we couldn't really see. It's like a dark hallway. So it was just like we could kind of see something down the end, like a, like a kind of cr- like... 
I don't even know. Like it was just like a, a weird figure. Yeah, of, exactly. Okay. And so we kind of like get down to the end of the hallway and it's like kind of dark and stuff. So Pablo turns the camera light on and we see it's an old lady and she's just covered in blood ah! in like a kind of nightgown thing and just like very haggard and covered in blood Ooh. and like just like hair in her face and stuff. And they're like, turn the light off, turn the light off. And the cop is like, stop filming immediately. And they're like, okay, okay, it's off. And Angela's but like, it keep it on. And so he puts it on the ground. Sneaky bastard. So now we're on the ground. Okay as the camera and so they're all kind of like trying to grab the old lady a little bit and she starts to kind of like like the cops and stuff like that we're just watching and then um she kind of like lunges at them and they kind of like one cop is kind of right in front of her and the guys kind of turn their heads and start talking to each other and the lady jumps on that cop (gasps) and bites his face like just grabs onto his face with her mouth no like it's just like hunk and no! stays there and they're all just trying to like rip her off him and she like won't let go and finally they like pull her head away and she rips skin no! out of his face and so i hate that one fireman so that was one that was like cop number one so cop number two and fire manu pick up that bite face cop right and carry him and they're like carry him downstairs and angela's freaking out now because she's like film everything oh, fuck so now we the camera is like is on the stairs we're back on the stairs now and the lights go out as they're trying to carry this cop down the stairs and they're like jesus fucking fucking christ um but then the lights go back on so now we're down in the lobby and the neighbors are all screaming they're like we can't get out we can't get out they won't let us out and they're like what and they go to the front doors and they're like (gasps) locked like they can't get out of the building and so one of the guys there is glasses guy and he's like oh i'm a medical assistant and he's like let me so he becomes dr glasses right, right, right. so he starts helping he got promoted the cop with the bite the <laughs> bit face <laughs> the front doors are locked from the outside and it's Fuck. like very chaotic so Kim, everyone's I'm down in this lobby terrifier flashbacks <laughs> i'm sorry oh god is art the clown about to pump out maybe god. Oh god. okay doors are locked from the outside so it's very chaotic and we're down in this lobby and it's pretty it's not huge like it's basically just the doorway there's like you know like the wall of like mailboxes you know what i mean and then like a little like the space just below the stairwell and that's pretty much it so everyone's like freaking out and then we hear from like a loudspeaker outside okay someone being like so this is the public health department the building is quarantined for safety reasons no and- i want to get out <laughs> i don't need to be quarantined please everyone I would like to starts leave. freaking out and they're like this man is bleeding to death <laughs> and so now like like from his face 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 yeah. bite okay and so our main so that's like f- face bite cop is you know yeah just trying to survive right he's not doing great so from now on when i say cop it's gonna be our other cop got it okay um who would be cop number two so they're like please uh, like we'll contact the police officers inside please do what they say da, 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 da. and so now the cops on the radio and they don't really like tell him anything and they're just like from the outside they're just like we'll tell you more when we can this is truly one of my worst nightmares <laughs> this is it yeah like i this is i i I hate this. <laughs> Why? I, uh, qu- the word quarantine. I mean, it sucks, but just is there a specific because you can't. Reason? Well, you can't defend yourself right. against disease. One mm-hmm. and two. Like I'm not in control. Like I can't get out myself. And then also the feeling of like even if I could get out, I don't want to infect. Right. The outside. So I feel very torn. I'm having a lot of feelings right now. My heartbeat is well. rising. Get ready because it just started. Okay. <laughs> Wait, we're not almost over. <laughs> okay. So the cop kind of turns and like hits the camera and he's like, get out of my fucking face. You know, like he's like mad about them filming yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah. And Angela like, like flips out and like screams at him and she's just like, we need to film so they know what's happening. Yeah. Like people need to know like what's going on in here. Like the fact that we're locked in, da, 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 da. you know, she's like, people we need to know. So she's very like, prideful journalist in like a lot of the moments where she's just like we need to be filming can i have a sidebar for a second yes i don't know if i'm alone in this i would have a different reaction maybe eight years ago 
to like, I would have been like, yeah, turn that camera off. I feel differently now. Yeah, no, I'm like, film it. Okay, great. I just wanted to, like, I'm definitely, because I feel like when we watch like Scream and Courtney Cox's character was like, keep the camera rolling. Oh, right, right, right. She, yeah, was, she was a bitch. Bil- she was a bitch. Yeah. Like, we yeah. didn't like it. We were on Sydney's side. Right. I don't feel that way anymore. I'm like, I think no, still I still in that situation. I f- it depends on the situation. I guess it depends on this. But I'm <laughs> saying I'm, I, I give Courtney Cox more of Gail Weathers, more of my. Sydney's like the victim. Yes. I'm just saying. And it was like respect her privacy kind of thing. Yes. This was more, this is more like what the fuck's going on? Like people need to know what's happening. Right. I'm just saying like back then it would be like Gail Weathers. I don't even want to hear your argument. Right. Now I'd be like, well, what do you have to say? Why do you feel like this needs to be filmed? Let's hear it. Kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I'm all for the reporter. I don't know. I'm still team. I'll send you a copy. Bam. Bitch goes down. <laughs> <laughs> always will be yeah so anyway on the other side of the lobby is like a kind of garage looking door sure. or like you know like the outside of um businesses like in downtown yes yes that yes. like has that slide that you know yes yes she's making a lot of hand gestures to everyone <laughs> but i got it i hope you did as well <laughs> just like the door that will slide down like a garage door yes. in front of a business usually yes. in a city i got it that is on the other side of the lobby so fireman Manu is like, what's this door? Otherwise known as Firemanu. Firemanu. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, we got to get cop this cop face bite out of here. Yeah. And the people were like, oh, that's a textile workshop. And he's like, is there a way out? And they're like, yeah, through the back. So now the cop is just trying to like keep people calm. And there's a woman holding a toddler freaking out. <laughs> Which I laugh at now because <laughs> later in the movie, they ask her age and oh, no. she's not a toddler, oh. <laughs> but you'll find out. But I love that I wrote that down. Oh my God, I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. I have to remember that, that you were a toddler. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Woman holding toddler. <laughs> oh my God, I can't I wait. I write down, freaking out. And she's like, my husband is outside. There's cops everywhere. The streets are closed. She's like, my daughter is sick and she needs antibiotics. And then Bam a body crashes on the floor Stop. from the stairwell. What? No, The center why? of the stairwell from above. No. It's Fireman Alex. No. And Fireman he's Alex. bloody. And Was they he are upstairs freaking with the, out. With the old lady? Yeah, because only Fireman knew and cop, a live cop, and came down. Car- carried down blood face cop. Blood face cop. And, and, Pablo but like I didn't Angela. remember that you know like it was just kind right. of like all of a sudden he was fucking on the floor and I was right. like didn't even know you were not with us not with us right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and Pablo and Angela oh they're obviously downstairs because we are downstairs we are them Got we, it. We, we were the camera yeah 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 okay yeah. I'm with you so like anything that's happening is we're with Pablo definitely and Angela. Pablo yeah and I'll tell you if it's not Angela okay. but so they're trying to like they're like, okay, he has a pulse, like da da da, but he's not looking good. Not looking good. And then we hear a woman screaming from upstairs. <gasps> so, nerp. Question number one. No. What do they decide to do, and what do you decide to do? So they hear a woman screaming upstairs, right? And uh, Fireman Alex just has a pulse, but mm-hmm. is not looking good, right? But we do have non-bite face cop and fire manu fire manu yeah and we have pablo do we know what pablo looks like i need some information we actually do not and never okay. find out okay we hear a woman screaming uh and there's like a bunch of neighbor people who i can tell you all of them now i guess if you want there's like yeah 10 can, I, can I hear just yeah so their demographic yeah so there's dr glasses and he's like 30s 40s guy kind of okay there's the mom and her toddler, toddler daughter. Yep. Who's a teenager, I'm presuming. <laughs> there, but she's car- She's holding her. Right. right? Holding uh, her teenage daughter in her arms. Yeah. <laughs> There's like an older couple, like a little married old couple. Mm-hmm. There is an Asian family. Okay. Um, so it's just like a husband, wife, and like son of like five to ten. 
Mm-hmm. 10 to 35 right 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 what is what was our age we haven't had kids for a while five we had to kids 10 for and so long it and was then, uh, 5 to 10 and 10 to 35 oh so I was right yeah, with my age groups yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so I have I have a theory here so um Dr. Glasses I'm actually going to keep Dr. Glasses downstairs with bite face cop and fallen from the sky fireman mm-hmm. who should I be I think I need to know that for like right who are you like I'm picturing that I'm Angela. Is that appropriate or not? Sure. But also like, I guess like if you were in charge of the group, like, okay. Yes. You know, like firemen f- just fell from the sky and then you hear a woman screaming upstairs. Yeah. Okay. So I'm in charge of the group. So let me start with me. Cause this is where I thrive being in charge of groups. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> so I'm going to keep Dr. Glasses with our patients and I'm also going to put him in charge of the well-being of the people that are bleeding out so like the the you know the older couple the mom and child like they're all going to stay downstairs Mm -hmm. I am going to go upstairs with fire manu and cop guns slash weapons drawn because they're 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 cops they have their shit Mm -hmm. on Mm -hmm. i am going to be angela so i'm also going to be a reporter in a war zone kind of mentality and i'm gonna me and pablo are gonna go upstairs with fire manu and gun drawn cop and to investigate what's happening okay but i'm gonna instruct everyone downstairs to stay downstairs and i think me and angela are gonna do that hand in hand hmm okay well, here's what's interesting. I'm not going to change my answer, but like I just realized something that like my goal was just different because my yeah. goal is Angela. What I was just doing as myself right. was to like save as many people as possible. Right. It and was not, not to actually alive. to stay alive. I know. But I'll keep my answer because that is what I would do. Right. And I know that Angela would do that because she wants the story if she gets out. Right. I'm just going to give you two points because this is probably going to be hard to tell what can keep you alive or not. So, well, but I'll try and so if I'm trying to stay alive, I'm going to answer the rest of the questions as like trying to stay alive rather than doing what I would actually do, I think. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Um, So that is what they do. Like cop and fireman, you go upstairs. Yeah. And then Pablo Pablo and Angela Angela go go with them. Yeah. And like, even as they're walking up, like the cop is like, stop fucking filming and puts his like hand to the camera. So yeah. it goes to black. Oh, okay. So then. But the sound's still on probably. No, no, no. Oh, it's It kind of just cuts to black. And so now okay. the camera's like coming back on and it's slowly fading into Angela. And she's like, I don't care what they say. We have to film this. Um, that's why we're here. Or maybe it, it, maybe the sound is still on then. Cause I think it's. Yeah, that makes sense the way I wrote it. So it was like, the camera's black, but she's like, I don't care what they say. We have to film this. That's why we're here. Yeah. So now the camera comes back on and they're already walking upstairs. Okay. So we started to hear weird noises and kind of clanging and banging and stuff like that. And they are now walking down a hallway and I think it's the same hallway of the old lady Where's apartment. The old lady, uh-huh. And from down that hallway comes a woman who's screaming it's not the old lady <laughs> she comes running at them but she's like holding her arm and like bumping into shit like oh god almost like bumper car back or like ping yeah uh no pinballing uh, pinball. back and forth between like the walls she's a pinball wizard got to be a twist call back i'll see myself out so then the <laughs> cop and fire manu <laughs> goodbye so anyway um <laughs> got these salty balls <laughs> i love my salty balls <laughs> i don't know why i just brought that up I so loved it. the cop and fire manu come in they're like what's going on and the lady just falls down like right in front of them she's they dead the lady that's pinballing what's going on no they asked i guess like cop and fire manu must have gone somewhere else okay and it was just Angela and Pablo in this oh, hallway. Oh, okay. So that's probably when she was like, I don't care what they say. Keep the camera rolling. Yeah, like okay. they decided to maybe go investigate on their own because the camera is black for a little. So it's like, we uh, or basically, if the camera's not on people, we don't know what they're doing. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> so yeah. they come in behind them basically and are like, what's going on? And that lady falls down in front of them and she's dead. 
And now down the hallway, we see old lady and she's like kind of like breathy and seems real crazy. And now the cop is in front and she, he holds his gun out and he's like, don't move, don't move. And he holds his gun out and she screams and starts charging at him. Oh my God. So he shoots her. He just like, is like, bam, bam, bam. And she falls down. Yeah. And they check and they're like, she's dead. And they're like, let's go. And the cop was like a little upset, be like upset. She's like, she ran straight at me, like, and and fireman was like, it's okay, like you, you, I you saw know, it. Yeah. yeah, like, and she's it's just like, tape. she charged me, you know, da, da, da. and they're like, he's like, fireman was like, let's go downstairs, you know, like, and so cop and fireman leave and see the camera again and get pissed again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the cop like really hates the camera. Yeah, everyone else is fine. So. Angela now is kind of freaking out a little bit. She's just like heavy panting and she's just like, did, did you get that? <laughs> and oh, man, he's like, yeah. And she's like, let me see it. And he's like, what? And he's, she's like, show me the tape. And so now we do like a little rewind, like mm-hmm. a to the lady <laughs> running and the shooting. And then we fast forward back to where we are and it's them running down the stairs. Okay. And she's like, record, Pablo, record. So we get down the stairs and we're back in the lobby and people are opening up that garage door. So Fire Manu is going to go check that way. And he's she, he's like, cop, you stay here with the people. And the cop is like, we have direct orders to stay in this lobby. And Fire Manu is like, these two guys are dying. Fuck your orders. Yeah. I feel like orders go out the window when like someone is dying. Like yeah. even in hostage situations, you say like, we have people dying. Can we bring them outside? Yeah. Yeah. So now... Cops like, all right. So him and Fireman New are running through like the factory place to like mm-hmm. the other door. And Angela is like following behind them, like reporting now, being like, we're, I don't know, in this I'm building, reporting. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm a reporter. I'm in this building. <laughs> you except the closed reporter. captioning is like, <laughs> except her mouth is going like this. And then the <laughs> closed captioning is saying, I'm a speaker and I am wording. <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? <laughs> it sounds like you do. It was all in English, <laughs> except for their mouths. I love it. Her mouth was going, yo, uh, uh, fuck, I don't know you the know word what? for reporter. I think maybe you should see yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> yo is the word for I. <laughs> that was correct. You did. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. I wasn't, I wasn't being like, yo, yo. I'm a reporter. <laughs> I was trying to actually say I was trying to actually speak Spanish. <laughs> Yo, I'm a reporter. <laughs> I'm reporting here. <laughs> Watch out. Who are we? <laughs> so they get to the other side. The door is locked. And there's a bunch of like lights kind of shining outside. Okay. And the mom is like, my daughter's getting worse. She needs a daughter. Because all the people have just followed behind she them, needs of a course. What? She needs doctor. <laughs> Did I say daughter twice? Yeah. <laughs> My daughter's getting worse. She needs a daughter. <laughs> Someone impregnate her immediately. <laughs> so, oh, shit. Um, basically, all of the people have like followed behind them, you know. They're like nosy neighbors. And anyway, so she's like, my daughter's getting worse. She needs a doctor. And now we hear over the loudspeaker again from outside. Do not try to leave. All the doors are locked. Fuck. I hate this. <laughs> a health guy is coming in. <laughs> a health guy? It's B- <laughs> to impregnate the daughter? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's BNC protocol. Da, 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 da. And the people are all like asking Fireman New, like, what's that? Like, what is BNC protocol? Like, what is it? And he's like, it's a situation where either there's like chemicals involved or nuclear stuff. And <laughs> they're <laughs> freaking out more. And he's like, no, believe me, it's like more normal than you think. Okay. So he's like, it's not like crazy, okay. you know? So now the cop is like, all right, we can't get out here. Let's go back to the lobby. So British stash for stash (laughs) for stash is very fancy. And of course, he's an an older stash British man. He's a (laughs) British Of course, he's fancy. What's he going to be like? like, Yo, I'm (laughs) British. I'm stashing here. I got my stash and I'm from England. (laughs) So. Bristache is like, my phone won't work. The TVs aren't working. Like, something's going on. They're, like, sh- closing us out or something, you know. And 
the mom is like, my daughter has tonsillitis. She needs help. Mm. And Dr. Glasses kind of gives her a little feel. And he's like, she is burning up. Oh, poor baby. And he's like, okay. Dr. Glasses is like, okay, from the office upstairs, we can jump down onto the patio. Mm. So I'm so worried about this, though, because if they're quarantined, it's like right. you're starting a fucking zombie. Up. Fuck. I'm so concerned. Okay. Keep going. It's a... It's a- a double-edged mm, sword yeah it's a real catch 22 it is i am caught in the 22 it's a real catch trend dose dos. <laughs> i don't know i'm pretty something like that dose dose. i don't know I bet that's, that's it <laughs> it's probably not all right so they're jumping dose. down no it's not it's um what is it? how do you say 20 girl uh, i don't know whatever yeah do you guys know what i mean yep you'll <laughs> tell us in the comments <laughs> But our idiots are like speak years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna jump down onto the balcony. So Doctor Glasses and Fireman who go upstairs, obviously with Angela and Pablo in tow, and Doctor Glasses is like walking up the steps, and he's like, "I'm head of the residence." Commu- committee mm-hmm. whatever blah 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 so he's like i know where all the keys were like all the keys are so he like breaks something um like the gl- like a glass thing for something for some keys and now they go to the office and it's kind of like basically almost like a full apartment i would say because it's like they open a the door to the quote-unquote office and then walk for like what feels like a long time okay. like walk through like a bunch of different rooms yeah to then get to like a big you know open window door okay. kind of space and they basically see all kinds of like cops outside there's like a helicopter and things like that and they're like move and then we hear from outside move away from the window we're sealing everything up and then suddenly like some plastic kind of goes down like over oh, that shit. area so now like the cop comes in and they all start arguing because they're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, you're the one who has, you know, contact with the outside. Right. Like, yeah. But then like one of them is kind of defending him being like, he didn't know about any of this. Like, I don't know. They all kind of start fighting and like the cop ends like pulling like a gun. Oh, shit. And they're like, cop, keep it together. And so they're all like, OK, OK, we're going downstairs. And over the loudspeaker again, we hear listen to the officer inside and don't try to leave. And the cop puts the gun away and like apologizes. And so they all head downstairs. So Dr. Glasses is like, okay, I'm just gonna go stop in my apartment for some like bandages and stuff like that. And the camera goes to black. We come back on and it's Angela reporting. She's like, okay, it's 2 a.m. and we're still stuck inside and la 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 la. And so Dr. Glasses is cleaning up the wounded, mm-hmm. two wounded guys and really see in their face bite and it's oh eesh. man face bite looks bad and um Shit. turns out out uh fireman alex not only has fall problems problems but also bite problems bite as well. problems Shit. on his face or uh i think both yeah Shit. Shit. so Shit. now angela kind of starts like interviewing people one by one because mm-hmm. it's like late at night and they're like they're more in like the textile area a little bit like they've actually taken the two wounded guys like into the textile area into a room okay to kind of like have them have their own space so she's interviewing dr glasses right now and he's like i'm only a medical assistant i've never dealt with like something this serious he's like they're both bit it must have been some type of psychotic episode or something and he's like we can't really like do anything else yeah then she starts interviewing the little old couple and they're kind of like we heard screams and came downstairs and they just kind of have some old married couple bickering a little bit or it's like no i heard this are you <laughs> never heard of it uh <laughs> and she's like i heard somewhere down here there's like a refuge or something for adam bonds i don't know what i thought that was going to come up later it doesn't so you don't even have to okay i could trick you but like it's a li- it doesn't come up uh, yeah. again so okay. i could trick you <laughs> thanks so then she's interviewing like the Asian mom. And the only reason I'm specifying Asian is because they really bring it up and make it a thing. So oh, A, really? she doesn't speak much English. So uh-huh. she's just like, firemen fall down, firemen fall down. And she's like, from where? And so she's like, like from up, thing. from up. Okay. Um, so it's like, they don't speak English. Um, and then some other people are pretty racist about it later. So oh, cool, great. <laughs> <laughs> so now she's interviewing the sick little girl and she's like, hi, like, what's your name? And she's like, Jennifer. And she's like, how old are you? And she's like, seven. <laughs> 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 Which is basically a toddler. It sure isn't. It's, <laughs> they're in grade school. They're great. They, they, 
I have a grade. Must it's been, first. Must have been small for age. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I mean. I'm 22. Who knows? Who knows how old kids are? <laughs> and she's like, are you sick? No Do you tell. need medicine? And then like the mom is kind of behind them and she keeps trying to answer for her. And she's kind of just like, I really just want to talk to your daughter. So if you could just back out. <laughs> And she's like, oh, so your, your dad is outside? And she's like, yeah. Or like, who like lives in your house? And she's like, my mom, my dad, and my dog. And she's like, oh, where's your dog? Your dog isn't with us. Oh, no. Oh, God. What? Is your dog outside with your dad? And she's like, no, we had to take him to the vet because he got sick. He's not here. Oh, no. No, no, no. So we took him. To, she's like, we took him to the vet like yesterday or something because oh, no. he got sick. So now there's an interview Oh, with the mom. And... The mom's like, I am not going up to that, to our apartment. She's like, something is going on up there. And she's like, I'm definitely going to sue. And I'm definitely going to the newspapers and blah, 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 blah. And now she's interviewing Bristache. <laughs> he's very fancy. And he's just like, oh, it's the Chinese. They make raw fish. Ugh, the smell. Rude. They leave the door open and the noise. I just don't understand. And he's like, oh, my face shiny. What? With his ascot and oh, things. Oh, sure, 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 sure. So now kind of everyone's reconvening and the cop is like, all right, I spoke at the outside. A health officer is about to come in. There's a possible infection in the building. They just want to come in, take blood samples from everyone. And once um, we're clear, we can leave. Great. Cool. So. Super. I feel like this is going to work out great for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Soup, soup's easy. <laughs> yeah. So they just want to kind of like make sure that everyone from the building is downstairs. So they're kind of doing a roll call of like going through like each apartment to be like, who lives here? Who lives here? Who lives here? So they go through everyone and the Asian family is like, oh, we have one more. My father is upstairs. Oh no. And they're like, wait, he's upstairs? And they're like, yeah, he's sick in bed. (gasps) And then someone is like, oh, maybe he's to blame. Like, da, da, da. And then they're like, okay. And then now the top floor. This is one where it's like one said top floor and one said penthouse. Oh, interesting. And I don't remember which, but. Yeah. And they're like, no one lives there. Uh, it's like a man from Madrid. He owns it, but he's never here. It's been closed up for years. Now the camera goes to black. It comes back on and we're at the front door. And someone is coming in like through the plastic. Mm-hmm. And it's people in hazmat suits and masks and oh, things. No. That the, never bodes well. Yeah. The cam goes black again. We come back on and it's like the little girl's face is right in front of it. And she starts like touching and like poking at the screen and <laughs> things like that. And the mom, we hear the mom be like, don't touch that. And so we're the camera on the floor actually. So it's like kind of blurry. It's, right. We're just like looking at the lobby now on the floor. And Angela, I guess, is like next to the camera and she calls for Pablo. So we see his like feet walk over. And so now the camera's just like on his shoe. Mm -hmm. And it's just them talking alone, though, because they're kind of away from everyone right right here. And she's like, this has to be the old lady. And if it's contagious, those guys she's bit, they're going to end up like that, too. So they're just like, fuck. And she's like, all right, get the camera. So now they go to the room with the hurt guys. And it's inside the textile area. And the cop, they're like kind of like, like the cop and people and hazmat guy, like all kind of went into there. So they're like, oh, shit, get the camera. We need to like catch up. And like as they get there, like the cop is like closing the door on them. Mm-hmm. Not the garage door. It's like a regular door. Yeah, yeah. And Angela's like, fuck. So she kind of like runs around the room and like sees that there's like another like windowed wall that she can kind of like, and it's all uh, frosted windows. Mm-hmm. So we can't see anything but she sees that one of the little windows is open so, but Pablo has to like climb up on something so she's like okay go up there so she climb, he climbs up and now he's watching and we're watching through like a little tiny slit oh shit so hazmat is handcuffing fireman Alex to the table uh oh and it looks like both like bit guys are kind of like I don't know they're like slightly moving a little Looking bit a little... maybe coughing okay. like there's some like weird movements happening just a little like slow like uh, you know yeah like moving their heads kind of it's like weird and hazmat injects fireman with something and then he hands more handcuffs over to main cop to put it on face bit cop Mm -hmm. and we see now we can only kind of see like hazmat he like turns around and then suddenly something grabs him (laughs) from behind 
it's vice bit face bit cop oh shit and then the other cop tries to hold him back they struggle it's hard to see like we can't really see what's going on and pablo is just like run like he's like we need to get out we need to run away run 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 so they're running by and then we see the guys running out of the room and then locking the door behind them and fire manu is like wait dr glasses is still in there <gasps> no and dr. hazmat glasses. hazmat was like i think he's been bit we can't let him out. So now it's he's like, it's a virus and I think it spreads through saliva. Oh, no. And so now it's like through the frosted glass, we just hear like banging on the door. Question number two, what do you do and what do they do? Who am I? You're like fire Manu. Okay. What do they do? I think they keep Dr. Glasses locked in there. And if I'm being a total asshole the people that I was keeping Dr. Glasses with are also in there with him. So that's dealt with if I'm trying to stay alive. And then for me, I'm going to keep them in there as well. Like I'm freaked out. I'm going to keep them quarantined and I don't want to get bit. The end. Yay. So, yeah. I, I mean, what can I do? Keep the door locked and... At first, it's just kind of like a person banging on the thing. And then it's just kind of like, bam, like roaring from inside and like banging on like the window of the door and kind of like a little bloody. And so they all like kind of run and like back to the lobby and they put down like the big garage door. And the people are like, tell us everything to Hazmat. So Hazmat says, yesterday, we got a call from a vet and there was a dog with an unknown disease. Oh, no. Baby's dog. Oh no. He went into a coma and when he came back, he was crazy violent and like started attacking all the other animals. Oh no. So they had to put him down. No. And they took the microchip and it led to this building. Oh fuck me. And now they all look at the mom holding her daughter and she's like, she has tonsillitis. Oh fuck. She has tonsillitis. And Hazmat is like, we just have to be sure. Stay calm because if the source was the dog, it's transmitted through saliva. So, yeah. and they're all kind of like talking. He's like, it's transmitted through saliva. So, and then the daughter bites the mom's <laughs> no! face. And she gets down and she runs at the people and screams at them. And then she runs up the stairs, like just screaming. Shit. And then the mom starts to run up the stairs and they all hold her back and they end up handcuffing her to the railing at the bottom of the stairs. Holy shit. And the guys are kind of just like, we'll get her. And the Asian mom is like, my dad, my dad is upstairs. Yeah. Like, you know, he's still sick upstairs. And they're like, okay, we need to find. He's got face bite disease too, though, I'm sure. <sighs> Hard to say. Yeah. So the hazmat is like, okay, find the girl and inject her, inject her with this. And they give her, give Fire Manu and the cop like a little vial or syringe. Syringe. Yeah. Yes. So now Angela stays downstairs so Mm -hmm. it's cop fire Manu with Pablo all head upstairs they hear screaming and then they get to the old lady's hallway that we've been in a couple times Mm -hmm. and both the bodies are gone (gasps) no crap so now they're down the end of the hallway inside the apartment and the little girl comes in behind them Uh, oh what do you do and what do they do Question number three. Um, I think what they do is they're like, come on, little girl. Come closer to me. Let's try and coax you towards me so I can inject you with this shit. If I'm trying to stay alive, this is going to be controversial. I'm with Fire Fire Manu and the cop. Yep. Uh, If I'm I'm really trying to stay alive, that's my goal. Yeah, I, I believe so. I'm going to shoot the kid. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was trying to stay alive. So the cop says, it's okay. It's okay. And he takes the syringe and he's like, here, give me your hand. And it gets a little close to her and she looks, Fuck. oh, shit. And the f- fireman is like, look at her eyes. What are they doing? She just looked doing? real pale and like red, you yeah. know, when like the edges of things are yes. red and like a little bit of her face was like holy almost. Woo! So 
Fire Manu, so cops kind of like kneeling down in front of her a little bit. And Fire Manu from behind is like, look at her eyes. And the cop turns back and he's like, it's because she attacks him. Yeah. And she's just screaming and she's like, ah. And he fights her off. And it's like, I don't know, ever, they're all, there's a lot of like, ah, yeah. screaming from both sides. And it's a little bit of a crazy camera situation sure, here. Sure. Like, we're like, ah, what's happening? And so the cop is kind of holding her back. And he's like, J- go, she bit me, just go, go, go. So now they're running down the hallway and the old lady pops out in front what of them. What the fuck, old lady? And she's screaming. So Fire Manu like grabs something and hits her with it and knocks her out. So Fire Manu and Pablo camera run downstairs. So they don't die from gunshot wounds. Or no, was old lady shot? Yeah. She was? Yeah. Shit. So as they're running down the stairs, all the people from downstairs are running up saying but why don't go down there go back up no. go back up who's down there they get to the lobby and the garage door is like open a little bit and zombie doctor glasses is trying to come through shut up so hazmat fire manu and angela like go over and like shut the door and they're like like freaking out and the mom still standing there handcuffed to the railing right is freaking out yeah so hazmat's give me the key give me the key and Fireman was like, I don't have it. The cop does. <gasps> and they're like, fuck. fuck. So now <laughs> Angela goes over, go over and like starts pulling on the handcuffs. And I was like, that's dumb. That's stupid. Maybe but if I just pull on these. The garage door starts opening again. Fireman was like trying to hold it down. And he's like, fuck. The hazmat guy just runs up the stairs. Question number four. What did they do? And what do you do? Who? What does who do? So we're only the only people downstairs now are Fire Manu, Angela, Pablo, Camera, and Mom handcuffed to the railing. Okay. Basically, the zombies are coming in yeah. through the garage door. So and they're trying to get Mom out of the handcuffs. They're trying to get her out. Okay. I. What kind of railing is she handcuffed to? What it's material is pretty, it? It's pretty. It's like one of those big, thick, brown kind of. But it's like wood. Wood, yeah. Okay. What floor is the old lady hallway on? Probably three. Okay. So I'll start with me. I'm going to be, fu- I'm fucking ruthless in this, in this movie, Kim. I can't, I can't help it. So uh, m- mom, mom's dead. I'm leaving her there. Uh, she's already bitten. I don't know what to tell her. I'm going to go up to the second floor. What? <laughs> I'm going to go up to the... I have a good spot for this bell today. I know. I keep dropping it. I'm going to go up to the second floor. And I'm going to barricade myself in one of the apart- one of the apartments. Like one of the empty apartments. Barricade myself in there until all of this shit is dealt with. What do they do? I think they try and free mom from the banners from the railing by trying to kick the railing out of whatever the end okay um so i'm giving you a point for you okay i can't see the railing i feel like it's probably too thick to do that but without seeing it i i don't know yeah i mean it's like the railing inside of and you know it's like the railing of a spiral staircase (laughs) right Um, got it we're both super clear on what the other one is referring to. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I would say there's no time to do anything because the zombies are coming. Okay. So they go upstairs too. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what can you do? Like Fireman is just like, we got to go. I'm so sorry, but we got to go. Yeah. So he goes up and so do Angela and Pablo. And the door opens and mom's like immediately attacked. Oh, shit. So, I mean, she was already done for. Yeah. So you got points for going up the stairs, but right. like, I don't know that you can get into the other apartments. Sure, Like, sure. you know, you got points just for your first part, but everything else I'm like, mm, I don't know, you can do those things. Yeah. So. I guess my point is that I'm not. You good. peaced out. I peaced out. That was the question. Yeah. So they, so these people now, Fire Manu, Angela, and Pablo go into back into that office mm-hmm. apartment. Yeah. And slam the door. And there's like pounding on the door outside. And then you hear kind of the sound like go upstairs. Mm-hmm. So you like know that they've like traveled. Traveled. Away. Yeah. 
Angela's freaking out because she's like, they were eating hair alive. Oh, the what? Alive. Like what's what's going on? Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Oh god! <laughs> what? Who, what? A so where? turns out Bristache was in this place as well. So now Bristache is like, look, we'll just wait here. They'll come for us. And Angela's like, no, no, we're fucked. Shut the fuck up, Bristache. And Bristache is like, but Hazmat, Hazmat, they care about him. And they're like, oh, so what? what? And yeah. they're like, he's in the other room. And the fireman who's like, shut the fuck up. And he's like, goes in. He's like, I'm going to fucking kill you. Um, Because he's like pissed at him for leaving. Okay. Because he's like, I was, you know, like with the garage door, like he was fucked by himself. basically. Yeah. So, and then he goes and Hazmat sitting down the very end of a hallway. Mm-hmm. And he's just like sitting there, like kind of like hunched over. And he's like, they bit me. <gasps> no. He's like, just get out of here. And so, Fuck. and he ends up like, what a good dude. Closing one of like, he closes the end of the hallway with um, a. Uh, Let's do this, Kim. <laughs> what is it? What's he close it with? I'm with you. <laughs> I would say it's also similar to what would be put into it. So it's some sort I'm of not- barrier <laughs> that that accordions itself <laughs> it accordions itself and it's just like a couple metal bars got it you know what do you know those doors that accordion themselves across the yes, hallway i do they're just like metal bars yes and they close into one complete grouping and then open up yes i am with you so he does that to Great. the hallway and locks it okay from inside the hallway hazmat Great. what a good hazmat so the others go back to that um, doorway like the outs the doorway to the outside mm-hmm. from the office that they mm-hmm. went to from before and even just like getting close to the wood it's like all just you can't see anything through like that plastic it's like you know frosted basically mm-hmm. and so but even like getting close the loudspeaker comes on again and they say stay clear of the windows or we'll be forced to make ex- take extreme measures oh no they're like Which follow hazmat's death. instructions <gasps> hazmat's dead hazmat's bit so Bristache is like, okay, there might be a way out. The textile place has a basement storeroom, which maybe is what that old lady was talking about of the Adam oh, Refuge, yeah, yeah, Adam yeah. Bomb Refuge place. And he's like, in it, there's a drain that goes up to the sewer. He's like, there's a reinforced door. Oh, this must have been what she was talking about. Okay. Okay. This makes that more sense now. Because yeah. I was like, why would you mention that if it didn't come back? Yeah. Because he's like, there's a reinforced door. But there's a key. And that key is <laughs> up my butt. And the head of the residence has them oh. in his apartment. But got it. And he's telling us this. And then, bam! <laughs> Hazmat's arm breaks through the glass that he happens to be standing in front of. No. Like, there's a wall behind him. And he breaks through the window and grabs him from behind and grabs his head and is all, like, growling and starts biting at his head. No. And just starts gnawing at his face. And I was like... Well, goodbye. So now Fire Manu, Angela, and Pablo run out of the office. And he was biting at Bristache. Bristache. Okay, got it. And so they get to the hallway, the stairwell, and they hear kind of like distant roaring and growling and Mm -hmm. things. And they're like, all right, we need to get out. We have to get the key. But we don't know where Dr. Glasses lives. Shit. And Angela's like, okay, but you did the roll call, Fire Manu. Remember when we went through all the things? And Fireman was like, yeah, I don't remember. Sure. They're like, Pablo? And he's like, I don't remember either. And they're all like, think, think. Question number five, what, how do they figure out to do and what do you do? How do they figure out where fucking Dr. Glasses lives? Yeah. Fuck me. And Fireman Manu did the roll call? <laughs> yeah. How do we figure out where he lives? How do we figure out where he lives? Oh, fuck. I don't know. But we need a key. We can't get to his wallet. We can't get anything. I am stumped, Bernsey. Give me a clue. It involves something in the building that I've mentioned. Okay. At one point, he broke a, broke some glass to get a bunch of keys. Didn't he? Is there some sort of directory that you mentioned? I can't remember. Oh, God. Why do I always have champagne or wine or whiskey <laughs> once we get to this part of recording? God. God damn it. 
Stay drunk is only fun when you don't have to answer questions. <laughs> yeah. When it's not imperative to figure out how to how stay to alive. How to stay alive. <laughs> how to not get eaten in your face eaten yeah. by zombies. I'm stumped. Give me give me uh give me this one. Okay. Zero points for this. Um Angela says, the mailboxes. The mailboxes. The mailboxes. We just go look for Dr. Glasses in the mailboxes. Yeah. My idea when they were looking at it was like, oh, they could just rewind the camera. And go and back find out to them where, doing the roll call. Yeah. That might have taken too long considering like How zombies are imminent. This, but, but also where are the mailboxes? Down in the lobby. Which they can't go down to because there's zombies eating. No, but they heard lady. the zombies come, come knock on their up. door and Got then come, go upstairs. Okay. So I'll take the L for that one. I, um, I couldn't come up with it. It's all good. Yeah. But anyway, she's like. Mailboxes, mailboxes, doctor glasses in the mailboxes. And then zombies come running the, from the stairwell somewhere Shit. and attack Fire Manu. He Fire kind Manu. of like holds holds off the zombie and kind of starts like fighting him basically and ends up snapping the zombie's neck. Shit, nice. And he's like, Fire Manu's like, go downstairs. So they go down to the lobby to look at the mailboxes and mom is just like hanging basically dead on the floor. Oh no. Um, still handcuffed to the railing. And they're looking, Shell they're looking, looking, looking. And you couldn't like really, it was yeah. just kind of like we walked, glanced by her because again, we're just Run, yeah, yeah, following on the, the camera. camera. Yeah. So they're like, okay, fifth floor, number two. They turn around. Mom is standing straight up and staring <gasps> no! at them. Oh, I bet that was so scary. Still handcuffed. But to the stairwell. So they basically run up the stairs, but like she's reaching and like growling at oh, them. Fuck. Like Thank they hurry God they didn't by. get her unhandcuffed. So um, now they're running up the stairs. Another zombie runs down at them. Fire Manu grabs, it's a lady zombie. And he's like grabbing her and he's like, Pablo, help. So Pablo puts down the camera. And now we see their legs doing all this. So they're like moving around a bit, but like not too much movement i was like what are they doing yeah because then we hear fire manu just be like okay okay that's it and let her go and a zombie like falls to the ground like right in front of the camera now and it looks like maybe a rope around her neck question mark what so okay. it's like did they strangle her it was yeah. weird but anyway angela starts freaking out because she's like she bit me she bit me oh no and fire manu's like no she didn't and sh and angela's like she did she did and fire manu's like i saw it she didn't bite you angela calm like, down angela's just freaking out and they're like let's go upstairs she didn't bite you so they're running up the stairs and suddenly it's the lights go out shit and they're like shit 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 where's the lights where the lights they're like find the switch on the wall and they're like pablo turn like the camera light on and he's like i'm trying i'm trying he turns it on Zombie right in the fucking camera. No. And she Ooh. just right in front of the camera and then screams directly into the camera. Ah! They grab her. Fire Manu gets her on the ground. And she's like, give me that hammer over there. And they grab the hammer. And he's like, now get out of here. They start, Angela Pablo start running up the stairs. And we just hear thump. Hammer and it's to like the face. him hitting the zombie. While Angela and Pablo keep running up the stairs. Shit. They get to Dr. Glass's door. Yeah. So Fire Manu catches up with them. And he knocks in the knocks in the door with the hammer. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because I was like, wait, didn't they have a key? And I was like, no, they're getting going in here to get the key. Right, right, right. For the reinforced door. They just needed door. to know where <laughs> right, he lived. Right. So he, they knock in the door and Fireman is like, okay, go in and find the key. I'll stay here. So now we're inside with Angela looking around. They're checking drawers and they're like, where the fuck are they? And it's still basically the lights in the building are, are out. out. So now we're through the camera with just like a spotlight. Oh my God. Basically. So it's just the camera light and they're looking everywhere. They finally get to a desk and there's like a bajillion keys and he's just like, grab them oh, all. No! So they go to the doorway. Fire menu is gone. Fuck. <laughs> they hear screaming somewhere in the building. <laughs> Actually, I think they are like directly below and they look over the edge of the railway and cop zombie is there. Oh, no. The like main cop that's been mad at them the yeah. whole time. Zombified on the stairwell below them and then pokes out zombie fire. Fire Manu. Manu. Pops no. out right next to him. <sighs> fire Manu. I know. It's real bummer. I really got attached to fire I Manu. Know, me too. I'm he was attached. really there for everyone. Bummer. He's a real hero. Yeah. 
but now he's a zombie hero. Yeah. So now I have to hammer him in the face. Yeah. So he's there on the stairwell below, like a floor below them. So question number six, where do they go and where do you go? Oh, my God. I mean, well, I can't barricade myself in Dr. Glass's apartment because we just banged the door down. And they're below me. Mm hmm. And where's that bunker? Basement. Fuck me. Through the lobby textile basement. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Me. I'm Pablo and Angela, right? Yeah. That's who we're talking about. All right. I am going to use this spiral staircase to my advantage and i'm going to lure them up stairs Mm -hmm. i'm going to rely on them being zombie dumb Mm -hmm. and i'm going to like try to get them to come upstairs and then i'm going to have them run sort of past me and go without them me them seeing me run back downstairs into the bunker that's Mm -hmm. what i'm gonna do okay what are they gonna do I think they are going to. Uh, do they have the? Who has the hammer? Fireman knew had it. Um, but we also have a bunch of shit in Doctor Glasses' apartment. So I think they're going to go back into Doctor Glasses' apartment and find some weapons, and they're going to try and beat the shit out of the zombies to get past them. Not try to kill them. They're just going to try to get past them to get down into the bunker. The end. Yay. Um. They do not do that. Okay. Yours sounds like a good idea. Sure. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a shot. I think it's a good idea to try to go downstairs. Yeah. They go upstairs. Okay. They go up the stairs. Why? Don't do that. It is like rule number one in our survival guide. Don't go, Don't up, the go up the stairs. They go up the stairs. Actually, Pablo yells, upstairs, run. Uh, do, uh, do, uh, they run upstairs to the, what we assume is now the top house. Top, the penthouse. <laughs> the top, top house. house pent floor. Yep. Top house pen floor. <laughs> and they're like, it must be one of these keys. Oh, Lord. So now How many like, keys are we talking here? I don't know. It was, it, it, it's hard to see everything. We're, oh, looking, right, through we're looking through a camera. Right. Gotcha. And not everything's clear. So they're trying the keys. We hear zombies screening behind them. It opens. They get in. They close the door and slam it right into zombie cop's face. Oh. Right there. Shit. And now inside, it is dark. Oh, God, I just want some light. It is pitch black. Triple night? It's triple night. Fuck me. There's banging on the door, screaming outside. A lot of zombie roars and screams. Angela says, what's wrong with the camera light? And Pablo's like, I can't get it to work. Fuck me. And Angela's like, fix it. But then we hear kind of the sounds outside start like going away. Mm -hmm. And Angela's like, okay. They're leaving. Turn on the light. And Pablo's like, calm down. This apartment was locked. No one's in here. Uh, it was last words. He's like, okay, okay, I got it. The spotlight comes on. And we're looking at Angela, and she is looking rough. She's crying. Right. She's upset. She's not camera ready anymore, she shall we say. not camera ready. And then they start looking around. And they're like, what is this? place oh god He's and they're like, in the 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 top house pen floor yeah okay and he's like i have no fucking clue but there's pictures hung like all over the walls and like clippings like newspaper clippings and things like that and some crosses oh no and some bottles of stuff and kind of like sciency like beakers and oh, shit like no. that it's like a lot of like science and religious things. Oh, that's never good. Mixed with like pictures and uh, newspaper clippings all over the walls. I never want to mix any of those things. Mm-hmm. That says mm-hmm. schizophrenia to me. And so we're again, triple night, really just a little spotlight from a camera. Fuck me. And so Angela's like over here, there's pics on the wall and it's kind of like a lot of, I thought it was a lot of girls, but it might've just been one girl and they kind of look like, in communion dresses oh my god i have you know what that no looks like? yeah i do i have no idea where this is going the and, white dresses right yeah just like little, like little white dresses baby yeah. brides yeah and baby brides. that's exactly <laughs> I mean, right that's <laughs> marrying jesus yep 
Yep. Uh, so it's just a lot of religious things, but some of like the eyes are scratched out, no. and they're just like, "What the fuck? This is doesn't this? bode well." And she's like, "Read this clipping. It says the Vatican investigates possible possession of a Portuguese girl." Fuck. And she's like, "There's tons of other clippings, but it looks like it's all on the same girl." Shit. And then we hear something banging on the roof above. <gasps> Kim, I'm so glad that I haven't been possessed yet. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, bitch. Like, I'm just not into that. I don't want to have to kill you. I, but I, I will. I know you will. And I'll kill you too, bitch. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. No, so I'll, I'll, um, what's it called? Exercise you. Oh, thanks. Give me so a little ab workout. Some <laughs> zing. <laughs> there's banging on the roof and fucking Pablo goes, it's okay. It's just a noise. Could could just be just the, the noise, Pablo. Could just be the pipe. We are in a fucking zombie apocalypse. Stop it's not the pipe, it, Pablo. Stop it, Pablo. Stop it, Pablo. Come on, Pablo. Unless you're talking about zombie pipes, which you're not. Yeesh. So Angela's just sobbing. Sure. And because she's stuck with this fucking idiot, Pablo's like, "We'll get out of here somehow." So they start looking and kind of like go through to another room. And there's stuff on the walls everywhere there. There's some Jesus statues in there, oh, some no. crosses. Oh, just no. I don't want to see everywhere. any of this stuff. A little like Mary picture hanging up. Kim, this is too much. I was already in like zombie mode. Like I'm already trying to like deal with zombies. Like I can't deal with like demons and crazy religious oh. people right now. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I, I can't. Thought you were saying, like before this movie, I was like, wait, when were you dealing with zombies earlier? No. You didn't even tell me. Like I just can't do this right now. I got you. I feel you. This is where we are. Okay. You put yourself here. Okay. I don't know. God damn it. I didn't put you in this building. <laughs> you had to get the story, Ketrin. You're right. I did. Who needed to get the story? You did. I did. It's your fault. I'm sorry. You have no one to blame but yourself. You're right. <laughs> so. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Angela was like, I thought they said that no one lived here. So then she starts looking through a pile of papers uh, like newspaper clippings again. And she's like, it's all about the same case. And she's like, okay, this must be related. And then she sees an old tape player, starts playing it. Mm. And a man starts talking and he's like, we have succeeded in isolating the enzyme, but it's unstable. It deteriorates when it comes into contact with oxygen. We'll have vaccine soon. And she fast forwards a little bit. <laughs> Out of control. Kim's a Foley artist <laughs> as well as a hand model. <laughs> the enzyme has mutated. It behaves much like the flu. And I've come to a horrible conclusion that it might be contagious. Shit. I've gotten a telegram from Rome. The girl must die. Shit. I mean, true. And so Angela and Pablo were like, she was here. Yeah. Back to the tape. Must destroy her and erase her from existence. Well, that's, I mean, that's a little over dramatic. Like, just, <laughs> yeah, she has to, we have to kill her. The end. So Angela and Pablo were like, we gotta get out of here. Yeah. They start looking around, kind of. So they're like go going to a different room a little bit and like looking God, around, but like the recording is, is still playing. Shit. So we just kind of hear, you know, that's still going on. And it's like, this was all a, a terrible mistake. Um, going to seal off the room. If anything happens, may God help us. Oh, Bam! God. Ah! The ceiling falls open. No. It's a door. Like an attic door. Shut that up. That just swung down. Fuck me. Question number seven. What do they do and what do you do? Oh, my God. They're going to go up to the fucking <laughs> attic like <laughs> idiots. I'm not going to do that. I am going to hide for sure until daylight at the very least when I can like fully understand what's happening and buy myself some time to like have people come in and like disp dispense of the zombies but i'm d definitely not going to go up to the attic under any circumstances the end i'm feeling like if i can keep hidden i have control of the com the 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 situation for at least a period of time mm -hmm. to regroup and figure out what i'm gonna do mm-hmm but I'm not going upstairs. You can't make me. I'm not going up there. They can go up there. I'm not going. Mm -hmm. I'm not going. Stop trying to make me go up there. I'm not making you do anything. You can do whatever you I'm want. I'm not going. I'm going to go hide. And I'm going to try to find weapons to defend myself until I can fucking wait this whole storm out. 
Um, I'm going to give you zero points. Fuck me. They don't go up there? They don't go up there. Well, that was smart of them. But Pablo decides that he's going to hold the camera up there and film what's up there. Mm. I bet so that, that they looks can scary. watch and see it. So he basically lifts the camera up. And now we're seeing that. Sure. And it's basically just attic y stuff, to mm-hmm. be honest. And so he's just slowly moving around the room. Mm-hmm. So we were going around and around and around and around. Bam! Ah! Zombie face. And it screeches directly into the camera. And the camera goes black. And we hear glass break. Oh, no. So now it's black, 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 triple night. Angela's screaming and we're just hearing them. Yeah, it's just a black screen. Oh, no. And she's like, what is it? He's like, I don't know. It's like something hit the camera. And she's like, turn it on. And he's like, the light broke. She's like, what do we do now? And he's like, don't move. Okay, I'm going to turn on the night vision. Okay. So oh, God. Night vision is so scary. He turns on night vision. So now we're looking through. We're just seeing things in green. Like right. dark greenness. Like and Paris like, Hilton sex tape. Exactly yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. We are watching Paris, zombie Paris Hilton, Hilton sex, sex tape. tape. Got it. And he's like, okay, I can see you. And we're now looking at Angela just freaking out and just like reaching around in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> she can't with her long monkey arms. <laughs> and he's like, stick your hand out, stick your hand out. He's like, we, we can find each other. In the, so they, then they find each other like in the dark. So what does he now say that they should do and what do you do? Oh my god. What does he say they should do? Yeah. To try to get out, I guess would be their goal now. But it's like triple night. Yeah. But he can see through the camera lens? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess I'm going to try and use the dark to my advantage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find his hand, basically, kind of be held by him. And we're going to use his eyes through the camera with night vision to find our way back downstairs and try to get to the bunker. Mm-hmm. Um That's what I'm going to do. They are. Going to do the same thing. Yay. So. I'm giving you a point just because I think it's the best and only option. I mean, yeah. Like what else am I going to fucking do? So he's like, OK, I can see if I use the camera. So get behind me and hold on tight. OK, we're going to be fine. We're getting out. So she gets behind and they start walking. He's kind of looking around. We're looking around through the camera. It's this is my fucking worst creepy. fucking night. Like I would for sure be like, I'll be the one holding the camera. Like, <laughs> like she's I just in control. pitch black. Like, I, yeah, I would need total control of this situation. So all of a sudden Pablo goes, stay still. Fuck. She's like, why? And he's like, there's something there. Yeah. And so we kind of see something very skinny, black shadow. <laughs> no walk by like down the end of the hallway no and he's like go back go back go back go back no, 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 no. and he's like shh, 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 stay quiet get down and i'm just like shut up she like does that oh, thing yeah, that, why like, would she shut the fuck are up are people directed to do this or is this a thing that girls do i don't know is this what we would be like if, no if someone was if we're just feeling like we're gonna die because constantly they're always like <laughs> i I like just making too much noise when you need to be the most quiet. I complete. You've never I, needed to be so quiet in your life and you're making noise. Noise. I feel like and I'm always like, shut up. I know. I would we be like, I, I feel like we wouldn't. I be feel like we like wouldn't. That. But like, gosh, man, it happens a lot in horror movies. No, I'm the always only, like, fucking shut up. The only thing I can think of is like our breath might be a little bit out of yeah, outside like of our control like- <laughs> yeah like that i can but yeah like noise i'm like you should shut the fuck up like you can make it so that your vocal cords do not make noise yeah and she might even be kind of just like that but it's still, like she is just kind of breathing heavy but i'm just like shut up and he even says it can't see us so if it can't hear us it can't find us so shut the fuck up bitch yeah and then they kind of hear some like clattering and movements and things like that and we see in almost darkness what looks like 
a skeleton practically no. with hair. No, and I don't want to see this. May I leave? Moving kind of shit around. And no. then they make some kind of a noise and it looks kind of towards them. No. And then it starts walking towards them mm. and it's a very, very skinny lady I'm question mark. I'm so upset by this. That only has underwear on <laughs> and is very upsetting looking <laughs> and kind of using a hammer almost like blind people do like hitting oh, things God. to walk I hate th- we're in the hallway right like no we're or, kind of back in like still that in the- second room that we went into so we're still in the pent floor top house yeah, yeah. okay I hate um, this I hate this I hate this the camera goes back to Angela and she like has her hand over her mouth doing that same fucking Fuck. thing that chicks do oh my in God. horror movies a lot where it's just like we're definitely like <laughs> and pablo's like shh and then we like kind of hear like we're either clanking. absolutely not gonna do that in or in our horror movie or one of us is gonna do it and the oh, other one is gonna it. slap them <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> it's gonna be one of those i like that idea yeah <laughs> okay so, so skinny skeleton hammer lady we hear clanking and some noises and then we see lady skeletons walking away and so pablo's like okay let's go so they get up and again it's like pitch black so they're basically walking like by her <laughs> and it looks like she's like doing shit like it might be a stove i don't know it's make, like make a little meal fucking see what's going on okay yeah she's just grabbing a little snack yeah, just just little doing her thing snack time. yeah and so they're basically like walking behind her to get they need to get past her to get to the door and so they're walking by her slowly and, and then just clank her- <laughs> they hit something oh god with like with themselves yeah they like, like they bumped bump into, into something, something. Fuck. and so pablo was just like run no. <laughs> and skeleton lady starts growling and screaming and hitting the walls and then angela's like lost in the dark now because they've let go of each other no and she's like pablo where are you pablo where are you and, and he's just like angela run just go go and skeleton lady is now like doing i don't know fucking weird shit and angela's <laughs> running in the dark there's a lot of screaming we can't see like what's right. it's like a lot of crazy just, movements because it's just weird shit. <laughs> guys i so wish you could around. see when kim does impressions of what she thinks is happening it is just the best I thing know, you don't ever insta story for the I, people god it's just so good you're rude to and i'm so rude you should insta story <laughs> um so the skeleton lady attacks like and the camera is like screaming basically and hits pablo with something we hear pablo screaming and skeleton lady like hitting him over and over again Fuck. so now the camera's on the floor like sideways right and the sound is kind of like weird and distant and breaking up at first and we start to see angela like falling around in the dark <laughs> <laughs> oh god just trying to make her way through triple night and <laughs> she finds the camera and she's like pablo answer me she picks up the camera so she can see through it and oh, no. she sees skele lady eating pablo's body oh, and no. she's like ah! and she starts running and skele lady starts screaming and now angela falls on the ground and she's now in front of the camera fuck So her face is looking directly into camera and we see her kind of like crawling towards camera. We hear like distant screaming. So she starts looking around. Her face is now like right in camera, night vision, sex tape, Paris Hilton style. And then (laughs) Skeleton Lady grabs her and then just pulls her straight backwards all the way down the hallway into complete darkness. No. Cut to black. And then it's just a voiceover of Angela saying, Pablo, Get everything. Every goddamn thing. <gasps> Credits. Fuck. So what the fuck was that bitch? I I don't know. And who did she eat first? The dog? I think the dog maybe got in or something. Like somehow the dog. Fuck. That poor dog. And then the dog infected daughter. And then daughter infected old lady? Or Probably, dog, maybe yeah, dog infected or dog, old lady. Dog and or daughter in, infected yeah. old lady. Yeah. Fuck. I, this might and be one that I'm going to go there. watch. That, I, I really want to see Skella lady. She was 
really gross. Real creepy. Oh my god, I can't wait. Like the skinniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, this was good. How many points did I get? Let's find out. Okay. Justin, can you believe it's almost time? Time for what? The 2019 live stream for The Cure. This is our third year hosting this amazing event with every single cent going toward cancer research. The Cancer Research Institute funds research into immunotherapy to create a future immune to all forms of cancer. And this amazing nonprofit organization is rated over 92% by CharityNavigator.org and puts 88 cents of every dollar toward cancer research. Last year, thanks to an amazing team of collaborators, fans, supporters, and listeners, we raised over $5,000 in 30 hours on the air. And this year, with your help, we're going for our biggest goal yet. Tune in May 17th to the 19th on twitch.tv slash epicfilmguys for 40 hours of amazing content as we try to reach $7,500. For more information or to find out how you can become a part of the event, please visit www.livestreamforthecure.com. Together, we can make a difference. Okay. How did I do? Out of 27 points, you got 15 points. Barf. So your favorites actually fucked you on this one. Oh, shit. Yeah. Because similar to how April Fool's Day ended up being like everyone was alive. Everyone was dead. Everyone was dead. Everyone in this one. was dead. Literally everyone. Fuck me. So you got fucked on that one a little yeah. bit. Yeah. That was really good. And it's called Rec or R-E-C. Yeah. So they may they remade it like a Hollywood remake and it's called Quarantine. Oh. And it's starring the sister from sister wife from Dexter. Sis- oh, so, yeah. Sister wife. Yeah. I know, yeah. Like the. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Sister. Who, sister Emily on Rose. show. Wife in real life. Yeah. Emily Rose. Emily Rose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's really good. So where did you watch it? Amazon, I think. Okay. I want to watch it. I watched like the trailer for Quarantine after I watched this and it looks like very similar. Oh my God. I can't. I think they remade kind of the exact same thing. Sister wife plays Angela. Right. So for this one, some fun trivia is the way they filmed it. They filmed it chronologically. (gasps) Shit. Oh, wow. That's fun. So like a play. And, but not like a play because the actors didn't, um, never had the full script. (gasps) Stop. They'd only get what was happening that day. So they never knew if they were live, a, live or, or they were going to live or die. Fuck. Yeah. That's so super fun. they were like that kind of just built to them being like anxious and stuff like that. And then like, I guess they purposely like hired like unknowns and like people who are good at like maybe improv and stuff like that because they were like wanted to like not have them know what was going on. Like even like that last scene when they're in pitch black, like they were just like, didn't know what the fuck's happening. That's fucking awesome. It's like terrifying. And then um the part where fireman Alex falls into the lobby, yeah. none of them knew that was gonna happen. <gasps> oh my God, I can't wait to watch this. <laughs> that was just like their exact reaction. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yeah. Good so. one, Burnsy. You're yeah. getting really good at picking movies. Remember we started this whole podcast and you could not pick a good movie to save your life? <laughs> yeah. Now you're just killing it. <laughs> you're so good. This one wasn't even I maybe my favorite per se. Like it wasn't bad, but it might have just been like the dubbing and the was hard to watch. And you the have the triple to, language of it yeah. all was a little hard to watch. And because our job requires us to start and stop and write things down. Yeah. I feel like maybe I'll enjoy it yeah, more. Yeah, just sitting and watching it was probably more fun because there was definitely like some good jumps in it where I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, Burns. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. At per use, follow us on all the things uh-huh. at KK Sam Podcast. The end. <laughs> and then I at think KK Sam Podcast. <laughs> I guess we just make a, we did a, we bloop, burp. You hear a promo about it, but I think sometime soon when this comes out, we're doing the live stream for The Cure. Yeah. So, so listen just- to whatever the promo is that you just heard. <laughs> <laughs> and that's We're going to be part of it. Yeah. And we'll follow us on social media at KK Sam Podcast because we'll post about when it is there. Yeah. And uh, we're like Friday afternoon, I think like I that. Friday think- or Saturday afternoon. Yeah. We do. Yeah, I think so. And then go check out our Patreon for some dope bone con bone con and also our merch to rep us for reals yo (laughs) (laughs) Yo. um this has been kim and cat stay alive Uh, so until next week stay alive (laughs) stay alive (laughs) 
Ghosted me. I'm, I'm done. done. <laughs>